Hello all, Project Wargaming here with a video on how I base my two millimeter troops. So try to zoom in here. So uh, here's some Confederates that I've already based up. Um, still a little shiny for my taste, but I uh, just want to walk through the process on how I have been uh, basing these guys up. So uh, first thing I do is I start off with uh, a wooden base. Uh, it's magnetized easy storage and then uh, I have painted uh, the top and the edges uh, blue. I do that for con uh, red for Confederates and blue for the Union troops. Then what I do is I come in with uh, some silicone actually. This is, uh, I use DAP Brown, um, just get it off of, uh, well, one of the big box stores and uh, use that instead of glue because I find that this stuff does not warp the bases nearly as bad. Well, it, they don't, it doesn't warp at all, um, the bases when you do that. Um, these are fairly long and skinny bases, so they have a tendency to want to warp when you use regular glue. Um, so I use this silicone to uh, base my troops. So all I do is I take a uh, popsicle stick, tongue depressor, whatever you want to call them, and smear the uh, silicone over. And then I just take the troops and press them into that where I want them to be. And then the next step is to just simply let that dry. So uh, the next step after that is I use a leather brown or a lighter brown and I go in and basically paint um, some of this over top of that darker brown just to give uh, some variation. The next step is to actually go in and start to use um, glue. Um, so I have just a little bit of uh, wood glue that I use. Um, and it doesn't take much at all, but I just use an old brush that I have that I don't want anymore. And I come in and just hit it in a couple of spots and be sure, of course, not to um, hit any of the troops. Um, the next first step of flocking is I use this green mix of flocking. It's got uh, some different textures in it and stuff. And all I do is, of course, just put it over top of the troops. For speed's sake, I'm going to not let this stuff dry. Blow it off. And that is the first. You can see it's definitely not uh, covering all of the spots. I'm letting some of the ground come through, which is just fine. Next. Come in with some more glue, hit a couple other spots. I try to get it up onto the actual miniature base there um, because one of the things I try to do when I'm basing up the miniatures is actually hide the base of the uh, miniatures themselves. So just again, I have a uh, lighter colored uh, flock here. It's not mixed at all. and I put that down. And then the final uh, flock or um, texture that I use is actually some of this stuff. It is, I think, um, coarse turf, I think is what Woodland Scenics um, call it. And this gives you just a little bit of height on your base. So again, come in and even fewer spots. Just dab some of the glue on there. This stuff really does allow you to hide uh, the base if you want. And I just dab enough of it on there just to hit the spots that have the glue. Knock off What's there? 
blow it off. And then I just kind of drag the edges here just to keep it from getting on those uh, blue edges. And that's really it. That's all I do for my basing. These are uh, very kind of generic bases. Uh, I'm not trying to do uh, really complex things here. And uh, all I'm really trying to do is get it, uh, get it on there. So that is how I base up my troops once I have them all done. So um, pretty simple, pretty uh, quick and straightforward. And that's how I get it done. All right, we'll talk to you later.